The Air Asia Group BHD reported a fall in shares as analysts lowered earnings forecast after the Malaysian budget airline group posted its record quarterly loss. The stock fell to 6.2% in the first half session of trade. Larger net loss has been recorded due to lockdowns in Malaysia, closed borders and longer than expected time frame for the COVID-19 immunization program. Here are the details of this and other stories from across the globe. Air Asia in a results presentation said it expects a soft first quarter for its Malaysia unit due to lockdowns, but the following quarter could see up to the 3% of pre-COVID domestic levels following relaxation on some cross-state tourism. AM Investment Bank said in its note that it was highly critical for Air Asia to shore up its liquidity quickly given its cash burn rate. The research house disclosed that while prospects for the air travel industry and airlines have improved, Air Asia may need to raise more fresh capital, including potentially a debt to equity swap for creditors to ensure its long term survival. Meanwhile, commercial air conditioning technology from LG Electronics has been recognized for its ability to improve indoor air quality, thus, making schools, hospitals, and other public premises healthier and safer by removing harmful bacteria and allergy-causing substances. The LG dual vent cassette system has garnered certifications from respected international bodies for its effectiveness in delivering clean air coupled with low volatile organic compound emissions. The air purification capabilities are attributable to the innovative technology that eliminates allergens and bacteria. According to Underwriters Laboratories, products that are Green Guard certified for low chemical emissions contribute to healthier indoor living environments. Finally, Chinese government has warned clothing brand H&M that it will not earn a penny in the country if it refuses to buy cotton from Xianjin region. H&M and other Western brands are facing a backlash in China after they expressed concern about the alleged use of forced labor in cotton production. China has been accused of forcing members of the mostly Muslim Uyghur minority to pick cotton from Xinjiang. China denies this, and in recent days, critical brands have faced boycotts. Xu Guingxiang, government spokesperson at a news conference, said that the company should not politicize its economic behavior and advised it continue to make money in the Chinese markets.